While kids were out trick-or-treating looking for candy, the Bear Clan Patrol was out looking for needles and knives. Okay, so we got sharps here. They can do that with more confidence. When word of a patrol member getting pricked by a dirty needle got out, a local business stepped up. Urban Tactical's retail director and his boss came up with the idea of donating protective gloves to the Bear Clan. The store donated 100 pairs of gloves worth about $80 to $100 a pair. No, I mean, at the end of the day, we're a small independent business. So like you said, the uh, cost to that uh, are significant equally to us, but, uh, but to a volunteer organization that has limited funds, it definitely goes a long way to them. Ginter says these gloves are not 100% poke resistant, but they will help reduce the chances of the volunteers being poked. All the gloves are puncture resistant gloves, um, and you still have to be cautious about them. There are certain areas on the gloves that, uh, that don't have the materials that would uh, stop that needle. So, um, yeah, you have to understand where the protective areas are, and you still have to be cautious when you're using them. Before this donation, Bear Clan members did not have the proper resources needed to safely pick up the needles. Vanessa Roulette is the member who was poked last week. She is thankful the Bear Clan now has these gloves. I feel more safe than. Thanks for the donation and for the Bear Clan because safety first, you know. Patrol leader James Fable says donations like this are crucial to the Bear Clan's survival. To have, you know, these kinds of supports pop up because we we are, you know, we have limited resources, and to have this kind of support is is, you know, it's 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 important. It's valuable. We need it. Without it, we're we're screwed. The gloves the Bear Clan received from Urban Tactical are a little more heavy duty than these, but it can put their mind at ease when they're picking up needles, and the support from the community is overwhelming. Daryl Stranger, APTN National News, Winnipeg.